At nine, uh, the double murder suspect accused of bludgeoning an elderly couple to death has abandoned his uh, bail application in Scottsboro Magistrates Court south of uh, Turban. Sati and Sutri, both in their 70s, were murdered in their home in Umkomas two weeks ago. Mass support outside court. During the double murder suspect's court appearance, he abandoned his bail application but gave no reasons. The man is charged with killing Sati and Sautri Pillay in their Umkuma's home. He was arrested while allegedly fleeing in their car. Today, he asked to be transferred from the Umzinto holding cells to Westfall Prison. He claims he's being assaulted by police. The magistrate referred the request to correctional services. Why are our elders being abused? They are not safe in their own house. We are not safe in our own house. Eh? Prison, sentence, that's it. He's not going to see no sunshine, no nothing. I think they should bring the death penalty back. I mean, for a guy that committed double murder, and, you know, to see things so calm, I think that's unfair. And calls for a maximum sentence. But the fact that they're present here today says that um, they're opposing this atrocity in the community and that our justice system needs to do something about that and take cognizance of the fact that this murder is not being taken lightly by our community in Amkumas. Meanwhile, the family of the slain couple says they are relieved there was an arrest. We're satisfied with the quick arrest uh, and the apprehension of the suspect. Uh, we're satisfied with that's been in court. We've had two sittings already and it's been just on two weeks. Uh, What's very important is that the justice system follow up on all leads and gets all the uh, ducks in a row to make sure that they can prove this case and put this man behind bars for the rest of his life. The case has been postponed to the 30th of August for further investigation. But in the meantime, the community plans on watching every detail of this matter. Tadej Hari Prashad, SABC News, Scottborough.